Hello everyone, uh, welcome again to Gates of Tech and uh, in this session we are going to discuss the part 2 of the project that we are discussing related to interactive LV to display delivery header and item. So let's continue that program here. <coughs> so we have uh, we have to develop a, a form with second. So I will be writing form second. In form and this we are going to introduce uh, the second uh, interactor the in second function module but for that we need to write here using C like this way you call and D type this SLIS underscore selfie you can go and check this cross check this particular uh, the field catalogs that we have here this is a is this is a structure slis and self is a structure which has been defined in slis we'll have the tab name tab index and also we're going to make use of a field called tab index which will actually enable us to go from the first screen to second screen so we'll write read table it underscore likep into w underscore likep where with Table key SLS with index index D hyphen tab index and then this is the read statement that we have to write here. After that, we will be writing the field catalogs for the second screen and also the select statement as well. So FCD WA underscore FC D2 hyphen column underscore position is equals to one in the W underscore C D2 will have the first field also happens to be BBL and only field name is equals to BBELN b underscore fct2 hyphen column underscore position is equal to column position is already done so we'll have the cell text here cell text underscore m which is the delivery number in w a underscore fct2 to eight underscore fct2 now this is something which we have in the first uh, field and uh, we have USNR and PSTYV so we have the second screen second field is USNR and USNR happens to be the delivery item and PSTYV happens to be delivery item category so we'll we'll use them standard descriptions. This is delivery item and uh, we have the third one is PSTYV. This is delivery item item category so this is what we have so these are the three fields that we have it here and uh, in this we'll be having this function module before calling the function module let me add the select statement here for the second screen select bbln usnr estvv from LIPS into table it underscore LIPS where BBELN equal to 
the value that we actually read it so we read it into a w underscore lkp right so this will have the field on which you have a click it so i'll explain you how it works let me first complete this okay now what happens is let's say let's assume that you have clicked on the 11th line then 11 would be the value of t hyphen tab index now in the 11th line what is the data that we have in the internal table will be read into work area work area when we read the data so let's assume that in the 11th line the, the db year and value is 11 then the same value is going to be you know checked here so you know what are we saying here is if when bbln is equals to 11 let all those fields from lips that's the delivery item data into the internal table this is what we are we are trying to the system to do and now you have to click on the button we use underscore and underscore, underscore display we are once again calling it this time for the second screen and in this we need to uncomment this exporting and also the field catalogs this is it underscore f fct1 f32 and then in the tables we need to give this as it underscore lips add uh, errors here so instead of uh, wa i kept it as w so i changed it and uh, here i i was giving the table name so i changed it to lifnr that's a field name uh, actually like uh, this should be vbln the field name so now it's it's fine it's activated now so it's active. let us now check the program and let's see if it works well so i just just have this this is the first screen and then i'll click on some particular line and that details details of that particular screen are coming in the next screen so this is actually the interactive LV report that we have here and uh, there is one thing that i would like to show here is that if you're just clicking on 3382 i've got this data 3389 i'm getting it twice and why do we get this twice is and the third time when i do it i'll get it like twice so why do i get this is because the field catalogs are been repeatedly been executed which we needs to be avoided so we just need to execute the field catalogs only once so what we do is we just simply keep these field catalogs out of this form we'll keep them i'll cut from here actually uh, is, i'll be placing that exact code here the field catalogs that we have it for the first screen and let us now check it Now, if you see this, we'll have the first screen, and I click on something, it works. And again, I click on something else, it works. So it's not getting repeated. The catalogs are not getting repeated. So that's what I would like to tell you here. So in this, what we have here is like we basically, you know, if you take an overview, we we built a interactive LV for the for the delivery header and item data. So general, if you are looking, if you are working on in the old editor, let's say before EHP4, you just uh, you are supposed to write this table typos and all, otherwise it doesn't work. In the latest version, even if you don't write these tables and typos, it works. And if at all, if you have the so only thing that we have to do, if you are not declaring the tables here, make sure you write in the select options you write it as not LIKP but blue A underscore LIKP, the work area field. So then it does not have any problem i'll just for understanding i'll just comment these two now so once it's done we'll execute it works perfectly fine now the old editor it might not work so that's what i would like to tell you in addition to this we can also uh, you know add the comments this is very important uh, if you're right if you're doing it in the real time it's always important to for you to write the comments here so it's like say i, I go for it. 
declaration structures we can also write it in the lower case in the same way we have to write it for the for all the things so you can write this kind of uh, comments here so what i'll do is like i'll keep i'll make this entire code available for you i'll put it in the blog just now i've this particular code in this uh, link www.cpeducation.blogspot.com this is a link in which you can access and uh, you can click on this program and you will get the entire program that we actually discussed right now and you can make use of this code and uh, execute it in your uh, app editor screen and uh, I'll also give this in the description of this video the link of this website i'm going to give this in the link in the in in, in this video okay. i hope you'll uh, you'll understand this program and if at all if you have any suggestions or comment uh, or, uh, any suggestions or ideas you can or if you have any doubts as well you can put them in the comments thank you have a great day if it's useful then do like uh, our videos and uh, share it with your friends it might help them as well uh, do not forget to subscribe to our channel youtube.com and uh, also click on the bell icon so that you can get a notification when i upload a new video and uh, for sap trainings you can contact us at info at the and if at all if you are looking out for sap jobs you can contact us uh, you can email us your resumes to jobs at the as of now we have plenty of openings for various modules in sap thank you have a great day